everybody and welcome to the uh, masking introduction and first thing that I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go into uh, the masks intro folder and I want you to download Tyrrell and Abby the two pictures that are there once you get them into your download folder what I want you to do is uh, you're going to go to Tyrrell and open it in Photoshop. So if you right click or control click on Tyrrell, open with Adobe Photoshop. And it'll open up. And so there we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to crop this. So I hit the letter C for the cropping tool and I set it to square crop. And really, all we want to do is we want to just have kind of the face and everything. So I'm going to set this up so that the bottom of the crop are the text of Alberta right there. And I'll bring it down just a little bit on the bridge of my nose right there. That'll be good. Awesome. Center it up. And make sure that delete crop pixels is unchecked and content aware unchecked. All right, hit return or the check mark. Good. So what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to also grab the Abbey picture. What we're going to do is we're going to meld these two together. And how are we going to do that? Well, I've shown you different ways to put these together but uh, to throw in a new picture one way I haven't shown you is embed go up to file and place embedded right here and so we're gonna go into the downloads folder and select Abby and there it is it embeds it quite nicely isn't that great okay so the next thing we want to do is create or make this larger. A little easier to see. I'm going to go Command Zero to zoom everything out. I think it's Control Zero on a PC, and there it is. We've got Abigail. Now notice that when we embedded it in, we were still in the cropping tool right there. So and it's kept this in here in case we want to crop. We don't at the moment. So. Uh, I'm going to hit the escape tool so I get out of the cropping tool and I am going to go over here, click on the Abbey layer and I'm going to change the opacity to 55. All right, 55%. Good. Now what I want to do is I'm going to decrease the size of Abby's nose so that it is the size of mine. So to do that, I'm going to need the move tool. I hit V for the move tool, which is this guy right here. Okay. And I'm going to drag this bottom corner. If you have show transform controls on, you can see these little boxes. I'm going to drag that. And basically what I want to do is I want to get her nose to basically be the same as, size as mine. And I'm just going to put that back and forth a little. Make that a little smaller. And there I can use the arrows to maneuver it around, individual arrows. And I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe just set up her nostrils to be the same points as mine. I'm going to make it a little smaller because I can't stop playing with it. Yay. Okay. So there we go. Looking good. And because I like that, I'm going to hit the check mark or the return key and put the opacity to 100. There. Good. So you can... Uh, uh, you can now make sure that you are still in the Abbey layer. And I want you to create a layer mask. That's this guy down here, layer mask. Click on it, add layer mask. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we're gonna need to get uh, the same colors as everybody else. So you see down here on the masks, 
at the end. Uh, it's hard for me to show it to you there, but essentially what, uh, there it is, a little bit easier. Okay, so for, uh, since I'm in the bottom corner, it's probably right here. And what I want you to do is, we need black and white, but in a special order. Hit the letter D. Boom. This is the default colors for our foreground, which is white, our background, which is black. If you hover over top, you'll see it tells you which one. That's the foreground and the background. This is the uh, default button, which is what happened when we hit the letter D. This right here is for switching the foreground and the background. Its shortcut is the letter X. We're going to be using the letter X a lot. Okay, so now that we have white being the foreground, black being the background, we're going to fill this mask right here with black, which means that you're not going to be able to see any more of Abby right now. So white is transparent, black is blacked out. You can't see that, okay? It's putting the mask over top of her. All right, so let's fill that with black. Make sure you're clicked on it and go edit, fill, and select background color. And OK. Boom. There it is. OK, we got my ugly mug. We're going to fix that. And so make sure that you are clicked on the uh, mask and hit the letter B for brush. So now we have the brush tool right here. OK, now we want the size to be about 70 pixels and we want the hardness to be zero. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is wherever you paint white, keep in mind, because what we're doing, we're painting with the foreground. So the foreground is white right now. Wherever you paint white, you're going to get the Abbey layer. See that? Look at that right there, see? Nice. And Oh, I've gone too far because now I can see that I can see her eyes. So I'm going to switch. Let me zoom on in here so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, I'll go back to the brush. Z was for zoom, and now I hit B for brush. And so now I'm back in the brush tool. Now take a look down here on the uh, on the colors. I hit the letter X. I'm now painting in black. And wherever I paint it masks over and there you go so I'm gonna do this there we go and I've given myself a nice little dog nose awesome you can play around with the size however you want but if you want to do that make sure that you click on the actual picture all right I clicked on the picture I click V for the move tool. And this is what I want to do. I want to I want to transform the size. And you can do this by grabbing these guys right here, but you're going to find that that sometimes is a bit of a pain. Go command T or control T for Windows, and you get these transform controls along here. All right? So, this allows me to change the size. So I'm going to hover over top. See how the, the width and the height are linked right now? So if I hover over top of the H, I can and click and drag. Good. And now I'm going to reposition a little bit more. Maybe make this a bit bigger. Um, yeah, I'm liking that more. Good. Awesome. If I like that, then I'm going to hit return. Good. All right. Click back on the mask. Hit the letter B. We're going back to the brush. And we're going to take out little bits that we missed because I'm painting black on here. Okay. If you go too far, 
hit the letter X and you can paint stuff back in. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want. <laughs> Anything that covers that face, right? Okay. I'll paint that in there. You get it the way that you want. Okay. And, and now we're going to we're going to play around with the uh, brightness and contrast here just to uh, to make it uh, to make it work and so we are going to click on the top layer right around this area and go down here to the bottom create new fill or adjustment layer and you're going to pick brightness contrast and we're go you're going to play around with the brightness contrast. But you'll notice, notice that it's doing the entire picture. I don't want that. I want to create a clipping mask. See this guy down here? So that when I click on it, it just changes the part that's immediately underneath it, the layer that's immediately underneath it, that's visible, that is. Okay. And so what I'm going to do, I want to go back and forth until I find that the that it matches the color nicely. And also I'm going to play with the contrast a little bit. Play with that contrast until I like it and I think that it kind of works. Okay. And, you know, I might need to add a little bit more to that mask around the face there, I think. There, that's good. And I'm going to zoom on in on the face and add a bit more on the brush. I'm changing the size of the brush by hitting the uh, up square bracket or the right or square bracket. And then the left square bracket makes it small. So I'm going to paint... I'm going to close this right here, and I think I want to add in some of her face, so I want to paint white. That's I hit the letter X to get the white, I'm going to paint some of her face in there a little bit more, just to kind of get rid of my face. Got a little too much there, hit the letter X in order to take some of her out, and there we go. And you're going to find you're just going to go back and forth, and when you make mistake you just take that out and you go back and forth until you get it exactly the way you like cool all right now on to the next video where we're going to add a left ear before we do that you should save what you got i'm going to go command s and save this as we're going to call this animalmask1.psd. Animalmask1.psd. And I want you to save this in your Google Drive, uh, Photoshop 1 folder. Good.